Huge immigration news, proposed changes to H-1B, the U.S. immigrant worker visa. Highlights of the 277 DOC in non-legalese. Stop H-1B fraud from Indian IT, increase lottery odds by more than 60%. Allow entrepreneurship on H-1B. More. Big fan of the new rules. Let's break it down. 1A. Stop H-1B fraud. In fiscal year 2024, there were 780,000 H-1B lottery registrations, driven by Indian IT firms registering multiple times. Only about 470,000 or so are unique. Rule now says the lottery will require passport number and one passport will count as one registration. 1B. Stop H-1B fraud. With this rule, fiscal year 2024, annual H-1B chances would change from Undergrad, increase from 8.32% to 13.9%. Masters plus increase from 13.4% to 22.4%. There were many detailed changes around requiring evidence upfront, being able to deny H-1B extensions if original one had issues, etc. 2. Allow entrepreneurship. An H-1B can now hold controlling interest in the petitioning entity, aka can have a startup they own sponsor them. These will be for 1.5 years instead of 3 years at first, to prevent fraud. It also allows concurrent employment with 2 plus employers. 3A. Miscellaneous cap exempt. Definition of cap exempt H-1B will expand from primarily research to fundamental activity is research, so a for-profit hospital plus research center will count. 3b. Miscellaneous degree requirements. Jobs with generic degree rucks like engineering or business administration or any bachelor's degree won't count. Petitioner must prove the qualifying degree field is directly related to the position to prove specialty occupation. 3c. Miscellaneous degree requirements. I'm not sure what this means for consultants, MBA. However, jobs like software need not always require a bachelor's degree, but can normally need one to count to H1B. So bad news for mechanical engineering graduate who is working as a software developer or computer DevOps support. May need to provide extra documentation for request for evidence RFENB denied H-1B extension.